Remember that we do not see things, but only the light reflected from them. These are my reflections. The thing about life, you're not always dealt to aces and kings in life. Sometimes you're dealt twos and threes. In my case, I was dealt with the Parkinson's disease. You dealt twos and threes, you have to you know, quit or you can keep playing. And, and, and quitting is, is not an option for me. I got to keep keep playing the game. Um, uh, in, in the month month of March, a wonderful thing happened to me. I, I encountered uh, some great horned owls on the campus at Rice who were raising two 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 babies. It brought together some parts of my life. I, I hunted hunted as, as a kid and was good at finding birds. I'd been taking photography courses at Rice and, and was becoming becoming so, 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 a pretty, pretty good photographer. And I love nature and love the outdoors. And I love Rice University. So because of that, I, I spent the last next three, two two months, March and April, taking photo photographing these the, 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 these two great horned owl babies growing up. I think it went really well. It was well today. It was, it was a lot of fun for me because some of my old, old friends from from my Rice days were in, in the audience. I, I was happy with 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 my speech. My one thing with, with my Parkinson's. I developed my childhood stutterings come back a bit, but I was. But when I get in front of a video camera, or in front of a, a crowd, I usually I usually get, get going pretty good. I'm kind of still, still full of still full of bullshit, and uh, today I, I waxed eloquently a time or two with, the, with some, some stories about the owls. Mainly, I think I was able to, to get the, the, the audience in, in, involved with the owls and really get them, uh, get them to see what, 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 what a passion you can have for, for, for these, these be, be, be beautiful birds. The, the pictures are, are great here uh, in, in Huff House because the, 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 they, they were taken just, just outside the windows. So, and so the, it's the actual trees in the pictures are actually out the trees that are outside. And that, that's, that's pretty cool for, for a photographic place, for, 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 for a photographic e e e exhibit. I'm trying to compose lush harmonies, subtle rhythms, and unusual tonal colors to evoke moods and impressions. Along the way, another thing happened to me. I found a part of my brain I'd not used before and developed a love for photography. And I've been able to take some trips in the, in the, in the retirement, been able to take some trips around the world to some really pretty places. And I've taken some photographs and then I've gotten better. I've worked really hard on photography. I've taken courses at Rice, both in the uh, continuing ed, ed department and, and also in the actual uh, school itself. So there's a part of my brain that, that, that is is alive and well, and that is learning and developing new, 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 new capabilities. Having Parkinson's is like being in a dream when you try to move, but everything is slower. This photograph is clearly a landscape. I a human element, and walking across an area of land, a desert in Namibia. Since 1987, over 20 years now, I've been teaching at Rice University in the, in the, the Jones Graduate School of Business. Love to teach. Great thing about Parkinson's, the good news, bad news deal. The good news is that it doesn't affect my, my brain at all. I'm still as full of bullshit as ever was. Bad news, they want to tell my students, the bad news is it doesn't affect my brain at all. I'm still as full of bullshit as I ever was. But I get to teach still, and I'm still teaching today. I've come to the conclusion we're not even going to move into it. We won't need any office space. This is customer pickup here. You know, customers come around, they can back up, and they, we load them up. Oh, yeah. I live this way three, three times a week in front of my, my Parkinson's. The, 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 thing I do for my, the only thing I do for my Parkinson's 
Yeah, 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 the, the, the maintenance guys to march in the parade pa past all the pilots and all the other people and have them all salute the, the, the maintenance people as they, they, they walk past. Within, within six months, they had the best maintenance record in the country. Uh, and, and it is something, it was something called pride. This little pride in the workplace. You know, that's what it says. Well, what, 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 what this course is about is about pride. And get these guys to have pride. And there are. Hey, Mac. How are you doing? Nice to see you. Yes. How's everything? Hi, how are you? Good morning. Hi, Jim McAbell. Nice to see you all. I, I'm, I'm tired of teaching statistics. I hate statistics. Uh, I couldn't say that back back in time, but I, I'm not, not, I dropped the Six Sigma stuff and all, all the, 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 quote, hard stuff I was teaching. I'm just doing the, the quote, soft stuff, the, the, employee, the employee involvement, turning people on, which is really the hard stuff. That's the hard part. It's about, the, it's about the commitment. It's about them buying into what we're trying to do. If they buy into what we try to do, then, then uh, great. If they don't buy in, we, we're not going to get there. And you got to have that. You got to, like you said, you got to have a give a shit attitude. If you don't give a shit, you're in the wrong place. You got to go. I believe that as a human being, it is not possible to discuss life without talking about death. Death frames life like a photograph is framed by the edges. Without edges, there is no photograph. The best photograph I have of this juxtaposition between death and life, between black and white, was taken on the skeleton coast of Namibia. Two jackals are eating a baby seal as the mother screams in anguish. Jackals have to eat to preserve their species, and seals must procreate to maintain their species. What a delicate balance, the yin and the yang. As theorist Georges Dietl Huberman writes in his book about four photographs from Auschwitz, images do not say the truth, but are a fragment of it. The image is neither nothing, nor one, nor all. I posit once more that each of our lives is like an image on a photograph, framed by the edges that are like our birth and death. Our lives do not say the truth about humanity, but are a fragment of it. Each of our lives means neither nothing, nor one, nor all. I had a 31-year career in, in the oil service industry with a company called Cameron, and it was a great, great, great career. But at age 54, when I developed, developed Parkinson's, I needed to go on, on disability retirement. And I left Cameron and I left, left that career behind me. Robert is just a, he, he exudes Cameron. Uh, he, is, he is really what Cameron was all about. Uh, we would not have a quality program, a quality culture today if it wasn't for Robert Flatt. We wouldn't have an aftermarket identity if it wasn't for Robert Flatt. Uh, he has been so influential in driving a culture in Cameron of service and can-do attitude, uh, all focused around the quality of, of everything we do and we touch. Uh, he has just been a tremendous, he's been a tremendous asset for us. Yeah. Personal trainer, personal trainer has to play, play two roles in the deal. They have to, be, have to do the personal training, but you also have to be my, 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 my shrink, my, my personal psychologist. That's, that's uh, I think, like 90% of my job, actually. But I, I, the personal trainer, you, you, you can't, can't act, act like a wimp. You got you to gotta do the all, all, all success. Excellent for you. You're here on your own accord. I think you find enough people to talk to and avoid ever doing any work. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> well, wait, training, it's not doing one thing a thousand, a thousand percent, a thousand things one percent of the time. Real slow over time. If you're doing it, we're working it over time. Not, not a short term deal. Not a program, it's a process, not a, de process, not a destination. When we started working, that's the biggest thing, is figuring out what things work for them. And Ness's balance has gotten a little bit better. We've been able to change a few things. But for the most part, we just have a standard of things that he can actually use, because some some machines he can't even use. So it just depends on what, I mean, everyone's different on that, whatever their limitations are. So that's it. Say about Parkinson's, running, running water doesn't freeze. You gotta keep your ass moving. Any water doesn't freeze.
If you think you had a bad night during Hurricane Ike, think about being a hawk out in the storm. But look in his eyes. He has not given up. As I got closer and closer to him, he looked like he was ready to attack me. Finally, he flapped his wings, and about a gallon of water came out of his feathers. He made it up to a limb in a tree, and then scowled back at me. That's what living life is all about. The main thing about about Parkinson's or about any part of life when you're when you're dealt dealt twos and threes is is the, the attitude you have. You, you got, in, in my opinion, um, the valid existentials. I believe only that now now it, it is important, and then I and I I believe the glass of water is always half full. Uh, if, what do we need to do to, to to make something happen? We need to just go do it. And uh, and, and, and life is life is good. It's hard sometimes. It takes some kind of funny twists and turns, but basically life is good. Consider a drunkard who falls off the end of a pier into deep water, and he cannot swim. A crowd gathers, watching him flounder in the water. Several minutes pass until he slows his struggles and begins to sink. At that time, a man quickly removes his clothes, swims to the drowning man, and pulls him to shore. It turns out that he was a Navy SEAL. Someone in the crowd asked him why he waited so long to save the drowning man. He replied simply, "I needed to let him relax a bit before I could save him. We need to relax and live each day to its fullest. Watch the sun come up, smell the flowers, and give someone a hug. And don't be encumbered by the future either. It will happen. Do your best to be ready for it by encountering and accepting and nurturing and living the eternal now." Thank you.